Andy, I recorded this video to show you some of the things that you can do in your home studio now that we've talked and I've seen your space. Of course, the kit does come with the full green screen backdrop, as well as it comes with a pre-printed 3D wallpaper vinyl backdrop. For now, we'll do the green screen because that seems to be the way that um, this works for your space. So with that, let's just put in some virtual backdrop. My virtual background, let's say that's my virtual background. I can have, of course, you know, infinite choices. Here's another one. And um, the one from last time. Okay. So let's say this is the one I've selected. And here's my space. Um, your camera will be on a tripod on the desk at eye level. And I would like you to place the laptop on this laptop stand that comes in the kit. Okay, let's say it's right there. And the camera peeks right over the top of the laptop so that when Kathleen is on Zoom and her Zoom window, she's looking right at her viewer. Okay, so that's the setup. And um, she'll be somewhere here about this distance from her laptop so she can access the keyboard and do anything she needs to do on the laptop. Okay, so that's essentially the layout. Now, before you mount your monitor, I wanted to show you one more time the Prezi video software because it doesn't require two computers. So if I were going to use just the Prezi video software in this environment, I can take my mouse and I can drop in my slides right there. Okay, so now I can advance my slides with my left hand and I can bring my slides full frame with my right hand and back over the shoulder. So I'm using a mouse with my right hand and I'm using my remote clicker to advance my slides with my left hand. Okay. and slides out. So that's using one computer because I've taken my PowerPoint deck, I've loaded them into Prezi software, and they load as individual JPEGs, and that's how it appears. Okay, so that's one computer, my virtual background, using my home studio. My black magic is in use doing the green screen, inserting my background. That's one application. Same um, configuration, same accessories, but now we'll look more at the black magic switcher and uh, before you mount your monitor you can literally have this background on your black magic of course and rather than using prezi you would literally just cut from that shot to your slides and back to that shot okay so that would be using black magic without prezi it's just back and forth between camera and your slide now if you're going to mount your monitor Let's say this is the monitor you mounted. So let's, this, this, let's just say that's your 50 inch monitor. Again, you're in black magic, inserting your digital background and your monitors over your shoulder. Now, of course, you have your monitor and you can cut to it full frame. Okay. So you have those two shots with your mounted monitor. Again, you can uh, maintain your transitions with your remote mouse. That's because, of course, you're bringing in a second laptop as kind of a live camera feed. So you have those two shots. With the monitor, that's the monitor mounted on your wall. Again, you have a little hole in your, in your green screen for the bracket. You have the monitor in front of the green screen and that's your look. The last thing you can do, let's say you took away your green and you, you hung your vinyl backdrop. In that case, if you remember, I hung this backdrop. So imagine this is that backdrop, all hung nice and pretty and flat and straight. So with that vinyl backdrop, I can do these additional cuts. I can show myself with my monitor on the wall. Again, behind me is this, this background. I can do my tight shot and I can do my slide. 
and I can do myself over my slide. So there you have it. Um, I would suggest that we get started um, inside Prezi. You don't need to mount the monitor. And then when you want to mount the monitor, we'll move into Blackmagic and get a little more sophisticated and use, bring in the second laptop.